hello guys welcome again to my channel if you are new here karibu sana if you are returning welcome again to this channel today we are going to check on how one can register their e citizen passport online okay i've seen most people asking the procedures so i'm here to assist you we are going to do this step by step so guys without wasting time let's get to the video first of all before you open an e-citizen account you'll need to have a e-citizen account now in kenya people have upgraded and if you want to apply any government issue that you need document that you need you'll have to have an e-citizen account for you to be able to assess your details okay so now we are going to log in on our e-citizen account i'm going to use mine as an example okay yeah let me draft Mm -hmm. as you can see I already I was given an appointment but guys here here it's where we are going to apply for our services and now this is where we start okay first you're gonna click here application of passport passport application yeah so you're going i'm going to edit my papers okay so on this category number one you'll have to check category number one your passport owner okay you should click this arrow and your application then you're going to click next on this page they are explaining on how you can pay the amount the years of the passport how to apply the requirements during the submission of the passport and <coughs> passport fee any the amount of money that you are required to pay most if you are using online platform you know you'll have to pay through mpesa okay after that you're gonna click next on number three they're asking do you have dual dual nationalities no i don't have i already had written no if you haven't you'll just have to click here and click choose then no if you have you'll write yes if you click next on on this page number four passport passport type here you're going to write passport type it's ordinary passport uh, ordinary application type it's the replacement of a passport if you are taking new passport you will click new first time if you are changing particulars change of pa passport particulars you'll click passport you'll click but for replacement you're gonna click replace okay on online platform they offer only 66 pages c series which is ordinary then you are going to write your previous passport number here after that you are going to write your personal number and you click next there you are going to write your name your date of birth here if you have any disabilities you are going to like to write it here then if you are a female you're on the gender place you are going to write your female if you are male you'll write your male and the color of your eye you know which color of your eyes then feet and inches this is where you write your height birth location you know where you are born country it's kenya home county it's where you are born you are going to write it place of birth you are going to write it it's where you know then you will have to scroll down a little allow for kujehapa here you are going to be asked about citizen by birth and choose citizen by birth then here it's your KRA. You'll need to have your personal number over here. 
okay enter your birth certificate okay the number up there on your birth certificate this is where you'll enter that number okay Let, let's say this is your birth certificate number okay then you're gonna scroll down and write the occupation you and your profession occupation you're gonna write it here then marital status if you're single if you are divorced if you are married all that you know which one you build which category you belong to so you're gonna write it here it's just simple it's a matter of you choosing where okay. then you're gonna write the reason of travel it might be because of business it might be because of just visiting residential you are going to write where you are your postal address postal code your phone number and email address your sub location and village the village where you belong to or where you come from then you're gonna click next here the further details you are going to go click this one you need to say if your father is alive dead but if he is diseased you need to provide the death certificate so you to write your father's name and id number place where your father was born postal address postal code everything you're going to write it there and you then your mother's then your mother's id number over here and you scroll down everything write everything here then her number uh, her number and everything and then you're gonna click next on number seven you're going to be asked about your next of king you're gonna write each and every details you'll need to fill everything okay everything then you click next after filling everything on number eight you're going to be asked about the particular particular of children so if you don't have children just click no if you have children click yes then you go to the next one so on this page on number nine you're going to upload photos so this is where the challenges begin okay if you go to take your photos just as a photographer to send you your photos through email it will be much easier for you to upload the files i'm going to applicant signature on a white background in on this section a white black paper sign it and then take a pic picture then crop it and then you'll upload it applicants id copy front this is the front the front of your id you are going to also take a picture then you crop it and that is a photocopy not the real real id the photocopy and applicant copy back same here when you the process which you will use on your first copy is the same process you are going to use on the second copy so passport biodata passport biodata you are going to take your passport passport picture the front you know our uh, the old passport they have their number as the front it's where it's written so you're going to click that page and description page you'll know once you open your passport you'll find this description it's already written there so you'll just click it and upload it for you to be able to upload these photos you'll have to crop them all okay so afterwards this passport copy that last page where details of your height eye color and everything is written that is the third page and also the the fourth page is the one opposite the third page at the back 
at the back the fourth page is the opposite of the third page okay now you are going to preview everything after you have previewed for me i can't preview since i haven't uploaded anything after you have previewed everything you're gonna click ok after you click ok they are going to take you where you can pay you are going to pay with a certain number through mpesa after that they will send you your receipt if you are in kenya you book appointment leave a comment down below tell me what you think about this application about it and if you don't know on how you can get your KRA pin just comment down below and i'll let you i'll show you on how and explain it in details on how you can get your KRA pin so guys this is the end of the video don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye